Hey there everyone, it's your host Sai Kumar Reddy here, Senior Data Scientist and AI Engineer at Physics Wala. So guys, here is a very interesting update. Very recently, I launched a video on MLOps Roadmap 2025. In 2024, also I launched a video and it was very great response, you can say. I got a very great response on it and many of them liked that particular video. So I thought like it's been more than a year. And there are a lot of changes in MLOps as well. So I thought why not to create a detailed video on it. I created a very detailed and dedicated video for MLOps roadmap. This is a bit advanced roadmap where you can see the roadmap actually above. I explained about the foundation of MLOps, the difference between DevOps, MLOps and data ops and its life cycle as well. MLOps life cycle versus normal software development life cycle. And what is CI CD actually? Continuous integration and continuous deployment. Why you use it and where we use it then i also explained about the normal ml ops pipeline uh, you can say pipeline architecture layer how you need to write like data ingestion data transformation data evaluation so validation everything and experiment tracking and model management how you can like what there are different tools you have like ml flow one of among them how you can use them that i have explained then workflow orchestration and pipeline so what is workflow and how can you do orchestration and how can you use like tools like you have github actions and you have Jenkins, multiple tools, so how can you use them, model packaging and deploying and serving them. So how you have multiple, uh, you can say you can write your own Python function to serve the model or you have TensorFlow, serve, PyTorch also have separate serve function. So how you can use them that I have explained. Then monitoring of the model, there are uh, different tools like you have Promptress, one of the open source tool, Grafana UI, so which is also open source. If you don't want to use open source, you have weights and bias UI. So there are multiple things how you can use them and what all are those that I have explained. Finally, learning only MLOps or you can say AI is not a big task. Even you have to build a product in responsible AI and governance. You should meet the AI, uh, you can say GDPR rules and HIPAA rules as well. So some of the government rules where if you don't uh, like maintain according to that, there is a chance that that particular company will have huge fines or even that particular company might be banned in a specific country as well specifically like countries or you can say like specifically in the continent like Europe and performance like performance specific ML ops how you can like uh, what all are the different like tools which are available in Azure and GCP because everywhere you cannot expect that same things will be so in different different cloud there are different different names actually of that particular tool and again the workflow will be same so I have explained that and how uh, like once you are done with all this what you need to actually do to clearly understand industry ready use cases you can you can also work with capstone projects that i clearly explained